on the screen. All right. We're not fucking up anything. Go. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so Toy Fair is an event where you don't really sell things, even though there were, again, Mezco kind of changing the game. They try to do an exclusive figure out there. This year it was the Ascending Night Batman. Now it's going for thousands of dollars on eBay. But it is a place where companies can take a look at what these awesome companies going to be distributing for the fiscal year of 2018. We are lucky enough to have an amazing company that is Toy Arc, where they go to all these events, they spend all the time, do all the work, and get all the amazing photos. But we definitely don't want to not include that they are the ones that are doing all this work for us. We are simply just giving you our rundown about how we feel about certain things that we're going to click the buttons on. First right. thing they have is the Predator. Now I'm guessing that this is going to be a whole new Predator movie. Is anybody else not agree with that, Dave? No, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what the case is. I've been reading up on the fact that obviously they're they're putting together a new movie, so that's that's all I can figure that this is. Okay, so yeah. who knows? Yeah. This isn't telling us we're getting Danny Glover though, or uh, you know Gary Busey. So that does kind of suck. But moving forward, I mean, we are getting new pressures, a whole bunch of new we like, are uh, all so. editors and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah, there you go, right here. So we do have the ultimate. Ultimate Bad Blood versus Enforcer Predator 2-pack. Uh, again, these are NECA's line of Predator figures in the 7-inch scale. These will be obviously a 2-pack, so obviously their names coincide with some details that are about the figures. I was not at Toy Fair and didn't see too many of these, but these are some awesome images we have forth right here. So if you guys are into this line, they're never going to stop with this. Predator, Predator. You're literally, you're literally, this one actually looks like a shredder mask almost. Yeah, so. shredder, yeah. That one did look like a shredder mask. So. There's there's a badass ultimate elder predator, the golden age that they're putting out that actually has like a, a flintlock gun um, that you know that he gives to Kerrigan in the uh, in Predator 2. Mm. It's going to be fucking sick. That one's pretty sweet. Yeah, there you go. So oh, this so is shit. the Predator 2 ultimate elder, the golden age. I'm excited so, about this one. <laughs> I like that gun. I like that gun. Just for the gun. Yeah. <laughs> so we also see Diamond Select Toys is not stopping with their line of Nightmare Before Christmas. We have certain characters here that NECA had also produced, some that NECA has not produced. So we have a different Jack Skellington. We have the wolf. We have the Easter Bunny. I can't remember this creepy hog torted fucking dude's name. Igor. It's it Igor, is yeah, Igor. Just say it. Thank yeah. you very much. Um, so, yeah, we see that they are still going to be doing the diorama props. If you guys are following Oli Oli O, just go like all of his photos if you're into this shit because he's absolutely killing it right now. Um, but it's here. Nasty. Right, absolutely. They should be hiring this guy to make the diorama pieces for these, like NECA does, basically. But this one looks yeah. like it's. That looks like it's wow. off. Yeah. yeah. These yeah, both look is. like they're cloth. They're materials so for sure. I'm Hi. not sure. These look great. Cloth Sally figures. So, yeah, these are deluxe cloth versions. We have the Pumpkin King, we have Sally, and we have the regular Jack Skellington, and I believe the Mayor. So, not mayor a ton you, of yeah. details about these. They look to be in the same scale, but we also have Lock, Shock, and Barrel, looks like, in the same scale. Not sure. These ones look a little bit bigger, and they're at it. Well, for the three pack, is $74.95. So. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe they're maybe they're also like fuck you, Mezco. We're gonna fucking start making cloth yeah, gonna, figures I, too. Telling that you, man, would, everyone's jumping on that bandwagon. I don't blame you. So they also have the the devil coming out. They have the uh, trickster, and they have the uh, sea monster also from the same sea line. Monster, yeah. So These good. look fucking awesome. I'm really glad they that they're really continuing. Do. Yeah, I'm really. Go ahead. That kind of fucking wicked. Right. With the lighting, dude. It just looked. Does fucking... is his face gonna come off? Because I know. Right. Um, yeah, that's the big thing. Is if his face is gonna come off. Right. Probably yeah. not. Yeah. But I have yeah. this Satan figure in the Neca line. Super awesome fucking figure. So it looks like they also have the 
Oh, well, they're uh, going to make the tree. <laughs> yes, that's what I was wondering about, too. Is it this? Is that what the Sally Deluxe figure is going to come with? The tree and then the little skeletons? The little skeletons, yeah. That yeah. would be fucking super clutch. So... Yeah, right. <laughs> They still have the yeah, mini mates yeah. as well. If you guys are into the mini mates, so they're continuing. Oh, there's a bunch of mini mates collectors out there still. That's pretty yeah, cool. look at those little skeletons and everything too. And then of course we have some busts coming out from them as well. So yeah, very. Yeah. What was that, sweetheart? There's a girl that we follow, and she has the Wolfman that statue. Oh yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. The diamond select. The diamond also. select. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Nice. So there we do go. have some Sonic the Hedgehog and some Star Trek from their mini line as well. Y'all about this? Yeah. How about that Star Trek? That ship down there? Yeah, the ship. Might be a release. That <laughs> I think it's pretty sweet. Might man. be what? Oh, yeah, that's the release. I got that shit hanging up already. Yeah, oh, okay, we're the same good. one. Yeah, I was going to say. You know, you know Diamond we're Select. Good. They're like, we can just re-release this in a little bit. No big deal. No, he yeah, almost shot his pants. He did too. He got a like super buck. <laughs> so we do oh, have God. we do have some continuing figures here with the line of the Kingdom Hearts for Diamond Select. Got some chipmunks. Got some goofy fucking inspired characters going on here. Yeah. Again, I didn't really They're play this video see. game. Yeah. So if you guys are enjoying the line definitely be excited because you got to see stuff i didn't get to see what i wanted to see but you guys if you're into this you got to see what you wanted to see so the if you guys don't know they do the statues the mini statue bust the regular statues these are very mediumly priced statues so if you guys are trying to dip your finger or your toe into the statue market diamond select is killing it in the game and we do have an interview with Zach on Sunday as well. So if you guys have any more questions, let's get him going. This is a Gene St. Gene sculpt for what looks like a beast figure. So what do you guys, Alex, what are you guys thinking about this figure? I dig the color a lot, um, especially because, like, for me, I grew up watching the X-Men TV show. Right. Yeah. So, like, I feel like it gives you that nice, like, 90s feel. Mm-hmm. So 100%. Stitch feel with the color, which I really, really like a lot. And he's not the happy beast. He's not reading books, beast. No. He's a no. your ass. He's, he's a bad fucking beast. Right. Beast. He's about the beast on the beast. Yeah, and right? I did, you know, a lot of people were back and forth with this. This post got a lot of likes on our Action Toy Art page. Uh, but there was a lot of if ands, or buts about the figure because of the head. I, some people don't like that going on. I, for one, like actually that. And then also they're still continuing with the danger room. So if you have Gambit, if you have the, the, the gene, you have – not the gene, sorry. I've meant the storm. So if you have storm, a couple of these, you know, the yeah. Cyclops as well, you can start putting these together and by now have a really, really sweet fucking – diorama so i am excited for that line they had another head that would be dope too the other head would be super dope too yeah absolutely so again just more busts we don't want to take too much time from that because we know there's more interesting things such as this so first we're going to start off with the janos it looks like it comes (laughs) with the baby which is really really cool I cannot wait to have a fucking Janos figure. To, uh, there we go. Spin on him and paint a Winnie the Pooh on his chest. Absolutely. Man. He does look like right. that. So detailing. we do see here that we are getting a brand new Winston. And I really got to say I like this new Winston head they have here. <laughs> I think this one is definitely – it's got an expression to a degree too. They also have the Ray oh, who becomes yeah, fucking – Yep, all fucking goobed out. So I like yeah. that he finally has kind of expression. <laughs> so I am I am forced to buy this awesome. figure now just to get forced. that head. The, it twisted your arm. Right. And the Bill Murray is actually looking really good as well. So I definitely yeah. got to pick it up to get this Murray they head. Have, too, I think, too. What's that? 
And they all come with Christmas heads, too. Yes. So now we are seeing, though, that there are not oh, really? full Christmas mm-hmm. hats on them, as we saw before, was all just standard Christmas hats. So I am very excited that, as you can see right here, the hat yeah. is removable, which wasn't on the Tully to my not-so-happiness. So at least we're getting it for these. But the very, very exciting thing is yeah. they are doing the animated Ghostbusters. Yeah. with the awesome fucking colors it only makes sense there's some people that don't really care about the movies that actually care more about this so this is yeah. kind of exciting i'd have to say anybody oh, else? that's our uh, that's uh sculptor shelf sculpted these <clears throat> yes May May shelf. shelf. absolutely anybody tempted to get one of these or get this line i'm, I'm grabbing all of them dude uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <Sculptor>. Right. <laughs> are they really got... gonna make the marshmallow? Yeah, they're gonna and make look, them. They totally have S and M Slimer too. Oh shit! <laughs> totally S and M. Gay Slimer. All day, man. They could fucking come back with the cereal on buying that shit. Right. <laughs> they can come back with all that shit. I don't blame you. So it looks like they're getting a lot of the accessories that you got with the other lines, such as the streams, <laughs> such as the proton packs. They're different colors, obviously. As we just really talked cool. about, really right. as we just talked about, you will get the Slimer has three heads to it. One being that it is the, it's supposed to be like a taxi cab hat, but it kind of looks like an yeah. S and M. It kind of looks like an S and M. Don't hate on me for that. Um, but then there also is a Stay Puff. He's pretty much the size of the characters. So I'm not sure what uh, if that's just a standalone piece or if it's going to be in that line. But it looks like they're also a lot. I'm not sure if they're just using the diorama that you're supposedly going to get with this Series 2, which is the firehouse. Um, painted different, but we will have to see later about that. But very tempting for Diamond Select. Again, we'll have a lot of time to talk to Zach next week about those. You know what? I'm actually not mad at... Mattel for these figures per se. This is the Jurassic World figures that are coming out. Yeah. These oh. are not terrible. <laughs> these are giving you vehicles for your three and three quarters. You can use a lot of these. You can paint these, obviously. Um, so these dinosaurs are looking awesome as well. I mean, look at this. The this sweet yeah. ass. This is a twenty dollar a twenty dollar armored truck you could fucking use for your acid rain. You could use yeah. all of these yeah, fucking Joe. absolutely, dude. So I am not gonna hate on them one bit for for these. These look fucking and this is a thirty four dollar and this one's twenty dollars. So this should this be a pretty funny. big articulated articulated yeah so mattel's mattel's not doing complete garbage as it looks like they're killing it with the dinosaurs right now so i mean you can get yourself a little crisp oh. on, a, on a little scooter bike so, here speaking as well of complete garbage right <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> so that that, that is this like a tri- is, this a, is this like an exercise bike that they're, they're on gonna, like a go hover bike to, go yeah. back to that that Chris Pratt one, that Chris Pratt one on the motorcycle reminded me of the John Connor from the old Terminator. Absolutely, line. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And you can use it as the same thing if you have him next to a full scale NECA Arnold. So, yeah, yeah, oh, it's super dope. <laughs> so, be on the lookout for these. They look like they're actually painted well. That looks like the dinosaurs have a lot of articulation. And again, if you need vehicles that you're not afraid to either use as is or spray paint and figure out how to deluxe them. But let's just go right into Mattel because the worst thing you want to do is just give people what they want right away. They just want to keep staring at this picture of John Wick and why we not talk about it. So look at this <laughs> bullshit right here. This is supposed to be a two-face. What, they didn't do anything with his suit, though. It's just like, we'll just half his fucking face. Dude, and the ties off like crooked and the shit. Like crooked. Perfectly it's, straight line on his face. Get the fuck out of here. It's it's the classic DC Mattel figure right there. Like Absolutely. look at all look at all of our older suited suited figures from them. Exactly. It is, it is, and that's why I keep saying is like, what do you mean you guys like need to charge more for a new buck mold that you're coming out with when you've been charging us for this same suited figure for twenty it's like years? Shit. Yeah. Cycle like shit, man. I mean, it's not the worst. It was not bad in 2005, but fuck, even McFarlane, as we're going to talk about it a little bit here, is like doing shit. Uh, so we got some Green Lantern, some Superman coming out. 
Uh, I can't remember this fucker's name. It's, uh, Martian Manhunter. That there is Martian Manhunter. You're absolutely right. Um, this clay that face one. too looks fucking terrible. Like I don't know. It could be okay, but there's going to be no articulation on him. Really, they assembled that wrong. Is this ass where his crotch yes. should be? They it's need to totally reverse that. Oh, they might. changed. It's supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a poof right there or a butt? I'm not sure. So, <laughs> so I'm he not sure. He photographs if, well, though. Right. I'm not sure if that's out of a premium line that they have or what, but. Like, when space balls. Was right. Space balls. <laughs> yes. So, we got a Lex Luthor in a Superman suit. Look at this Batman, though. Look. The fucking yes. thing is falling apart. And look it's at how big guess. these joints are. So we're looking at a Batman. That actually, I don't even know what. We don't really have to describe because I'm not going to put this on iTunes. This is only going to go on YouTube. So only people want to watch us talk about shit about this. So I can just I can just go like this and you know what I'm talking about because there's a huge yeah. fucking... The figure's probably going to be like this when you get it too. And you know what? When you get it, you can't complain because the photos that they originally showed you look just like this. So <laughs> yeah. And you bought it. <laughs> but look at this. I don't know. I think this looks... Way too obvious. Look at that is this brutal. Is, this is that bad. Is brutal. This is the Holy. worst Batman I've seen in a while. So, yeah, Wonder Woman. She looks static. I don't know who the Batman's head looks like. The fucking head that you would find at a dollar store kind of it Batman. Does too. <laughs> His articulation is that of a dollar store as well. So yeah. this is supposed to be the TV Flash, which yeah. was like my favorite thing growing up in 1994. Yeah. I worshipped the show, but I don't think this figure looks that good. So I don't think I'm, I'm gonna, gonna pay. This. You're gonna get this. Well, when I you like when that, you yeah. buy it, tell me if I need it. And then if you oh, tell okay. me I don't need it, then I won't buy it. But if you get it and you're like you need this, I'll I'll think about it. Because it literally was like my favorite show. But this, uh, this right here, this penguin actually looks pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. But this that is, was that was drooling over the penguin. 20, one. I think that looks pretty sweet. Twenty four fucking bucks though. So it's the same thing with this. But at least hopefully this will be the you know they'll make it look like the Danny DeVito. Uh, so cool. and then this is supposed to be the f of course of all the figures Val Kilmer's like the they Val finally, Kilmer one. They finally <laughs> made me. You know why they Jesus. did that? Because he was the cheapest. Clooney was probably like, no, I want a bunch of money. Yada, yada, I want a bunch of money. But fucking Val Kilmer was like, did you see me in Snowman? I need money. So <laughs> He was, oh, my God. If you haven't seen him in Snowman, oh, my God. I, I don't know. I can't describe it because oh, wow. there's a voice. I don't know if they dubbed his voice or not because he creates <laughs> – he creates a voice sound that's... Val Kilmer is our next fucking Steven Seagal, man. Yeah, he's ready. He was <laughs> he was rough. He was super... All these, all these straight-to-Netflix fucking action movies now. He was, he was looking and sounding. I don't know if he was trying to do an accent or if, like, his oldness was, like, forcing him to be able to talk bad, like... Ugh. just mumbling over himself so you know i don't get why companies like have figures that are like in stores and bother to put them in their displays i don't like those have been out for a long time why are you still putting those out mcfarland like i don't get it you know everybody <laughs> wants to see this shit that you haven't put out yet so these are actually starting to look really really good in my opinion due to oh, yeah. the head sculpts so we have the kirk and we have the Fucking awesome McFucking dub dub. Get it out. Captain Get it out. John Luke Mc... Picard. <laughs> Picard, you son of a bitch. Uh, Mc Picard. Picard. <laughs> but, you know, obviously the they are trying, you know, I'm giving it to them. They are trying to slightly step up the articulation from what the first color tops were, which were in like complete poses. So the Jesus here, I can't hate on this. This actually looks not that bad. Really well painted and everything. I'm sure this jacket is right. I'm sure the jacket's going to be very hindering, but you know, Stiff, yeah. you know, this doesn't look bad either. I don't know. I don't watch the show anything, but this could be a custom for me, just like a 
regular dude. I'm just going to get the A off of his shirt, obviously. But, you know, <laughs> if if anything, that's what this figure is going to be for me. This <laughs> looks awesome because I'm going to turn this guy into whatever the fuck I want to because it's just a regular fucking... Because it's a plain Joe, man. Right. You could just have plain Joe here. So the articulation, you know, the real thing that these are missing is obviously the waist right here. So technically, you could cut the waist and add it if you wanted to. I'm not sure how hollow these are, but knowing McFarlane, these are full-on plastic. Because if he's not giving you articulation, he's going to pump you full of plastic. So I don't mind the way that he's starting to maneuver, you know, in these lines. Like, these figures, they'll give you some range of motions. These are... Yeah a little bit better for, you know, filling up your displays with people and trying to get more out of your action figures in the 7-inch scale, you know, market anyway. I I mean, why did we still get that piece of shit spawn? Why can't we get a spawn that's more like that one? I'll take that one all day. But whatever, McFarlane. He will, eventually. Right. At least they're... Except the 97 movie version, dude. Right. You know, they have to move his knee and shit. Right. Yeah. But at least yeah. they're trying. Um, we're going to the video game figure, so they are still doing some crazy shit with the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Borderlands figures. We have the Psycho Bandits. We have a couple of the other characters rocking out here. I'm not sure what this is, though. Some video game. Uh, the Neighbor, <laughs> Evil Smile. <laughs> What the fuck's about? Maybe. Yeah. No idea what this is. Maybe you guys are freaking out about this, but me and my crew apparently are snoozing on Slumberville on this <laughs> land. But uh, here's, yeah, some really more, yes. here's some more image. The... Here's some more images of those, those cops oh, that cool. we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. So this yeah, we thing, saw those a while ago. These are cool. Yeah. So hopefully this comes out and looks as cool. I do know Dave was excited about these Call of Duty. And again, uh, yeah. this looks like, is this the articulation too? I think. Yeah. There is a little bit. There, there is little some bit, articulation yeah. to these figures. So oh. Dave can get a lot of use out of these. This will be in the perfect $20 Definitely. range for him. He can, Any, anybody you know, looking to do some tactical shots, man. I know there's a lot of people generating that same kind of interest I am, so yep. keep your eyes open, guys. These are, these are going to be some pretty cool figures. So unfortunately, McFarlane, you are getting some of my money, and we're going to head over to the Stranger yep. Things. And unfortunately, I am happy and disappointed all at the same time. It is cool, I think, that we're getting the Ghostbusters figures, but what would you guys have rather had? More regular characters from the show or these Ghostbuster fucking suited versions? I mean, me personally, I would have I would have preferred the you know regular characters from the show. Yeah, I like, like what, that they're Winona giving Ryder. us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I exactly. like that they're giving us that uh, that special yeah. that like that good edition of uh, of what's his name there with the fucking. He's wearing like a handkerchief over his face. And, like, well, yeah, we'll definitely get into oh, that. Yeah. So we see that they are doing a season two eleven. I think this has two heads. She's got some blood coming out of her nose in this one. So she has the jacket and the cool boots. But as Dave was just talking about, it looks like there is going to be a more premium format. First, we'll talk about Will here. Yeah, here where there's go. a regular Will. Yeah. He will come with a removable backpack. And then there is an upside down, very Exclusive. more zombie yeah. Will. But again, you know, these are going to be very fun in terms of putting in your display photos. So we have Mike as well. Um, but the one thing is we're scrolling towards is this looks like it's a deluxe like version. So it looks like we're at a $34.99 price for this really cool Dustin right here, which has a removable mask, removable goggles. He has a different head. He has the removable hat, removable backpack, they say. And they did say on one of their stories on Instagram that they... Well, it, they screwed up the color. They didn't screw up the color. They just had gotten different specs from the show and they when okay. they were doing their prototypes. So when it comes out, it will be the proper color. It also comes with the gas can. So Some for pretty me, solid accessories. For me, this is a solid fucking buy because everybody was already complaining yeah. if they were going to get the demi-dogs. 
Um, you could use this. I'm going to be using this kid for like a spray paint, you know, kid too. Yeah, hell yeah. 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 So, yeah. The, you know, sky is the limit right now. Like I am, it's been a long time since I've been happy with the way McFarlane is starting to do things. I like this $34. I think you get a lot of things for this. I think yeah. if for $34, it's worth it. it is. You get the, you're getting the dog, you're getting the can, you're getting the, the backpack. You're getting this, you know, this Last thing. Minute, that's pretty Absolutely. Dope, a so. lot of a lot of removable parts. Yeah. Even a candy bar. He comes with a candy bar. Right. He comes <laughs> with a fucking Stranger Things candy bar too. You're absolutely right. So <laughs> we are seeing here that oh. NECA Alien versus Predator Arcade Dutch and Lin Two Pack. These are very stylized, colored versions of these figures. I never played the game. I have no idea. Oh, dude, missing out. It's really missing out for sure. Really. <laughs> Yeah. These are these are better though. This Dutch is better than the old Dutch that we got from like the old arcade shit. Right. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. Really fucking dope. Yeah, everything, the yeah. graphics, everything, the shadowing. But yeah, yeah. man, missing out on the game, Doom. Seriously, play Damn. that fucking. <laughs> seriously. Invest those quarters, bro. Invest those quarters. Right. <laughs> so we have more. This is the NECA Alien Series 13. Very very cool. I do not unfortunately know this character's name. But it looks like it's going to be like a three pack. Very, very fucking detailed. The color on these are fucking amazing. I like that yeah. bronze color on these. Look at the style on those alien heads. I know. Red. And is it like, is Crazy. that going to be like articulated or is it just going to be in that pose? And you can just like. It kind of looks like midway, it can move. Yeah. Maybe. It probably. Oh, yeah. Maybe it'll be. Uh... Maybe it'll be like the wire shit that they give us for the tails. But I'm sure Nick is fucking foaming at the mouth. He's probably pissed yeah. that we don't know who this is. And he's going to fucking <laughs> I was just call us say, out in the DM. So Nick's got to be on this episode for that you're fucking, You're fucking welcome. <laughs> so this is one thing that I'm really particularly interested in due to one big elephant in the room. So we have Guillermo del Toro's signature collection, Pale Man. Now... A lot of people obviously don't like Pan's Labyrinth or give a fuck about Pan's Labyrinth. Me not yeah. being one of those people, I would have bought this figure as is. But not only does it look really awesome, look super creepy, it's going to be awesome for all your shots, but look at this fucking chair. Who yeah. the fuck doesn't want this chair? It's obviously chair seven inches, so it's going to be a big fucking hype ass chair obviously we don't see it painted yet but yeah. i don't know what the price crazy point. versatility crazy versatility yeah. so not only do you have a creepy character for your photos but having the chair in there and then too if the bootleg market opens up for this and they maybe even just make the chair they did for morpheus so who I'd knows? Buy the just for the chair, so they better do that. Something yeah. I am excited about, but worried about all in the same breath. NECA reveals that they are going to be doing a American Gods Laura Moon. Again, I'm excited, but worried. I would like if they had given us an inkling that they were going to do Shadow, maybe Odin. I'm a big fan of the show, so regardless, I'm buying this figure. It could be very cool for your horror displays as well. She is holding her arm. She, If you know anything about the show, it makes sense why she's very lackadaisical about all these activities happening mm -hmm. to her. But super, really cool, detailed. So I'm not sure if they're doing a line of figures and they just wanted to get this out or if they feel like this is the only thing that would sell. So I guess if you don't buy it, we'll never figure out. I know for one thing, this blew up the entire internet this weekend. Yeah. I do not believe most of us thought we were going to get a classic Tim Curry it. Fucking Alex and Chris, what do you guys think about this? Uh, we already pre-ordered it, so uh, that says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you pre-order yeah, it? Yeah. It's already on Big Bad? Uh, no, I got it through Empire. I, oh, there you go. nice. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I pre-ordered that, and, um, yeah, dude, we're excited. Like I said, um, we were worried that we were they worried weren't going to do the classic Tim Curry, only uh, because we personally did not like the new It movie. So. Much, uh, you yeah. know, it's not that I didn't like it. It's just that it wasn't 
you know. Was, yeah. I, I, I would have rather it been its own thing. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know, but, uh, I get I'm it. About this fucking character, though, because it's and, gonna. Be, so the NECA lines are all the classic fucking um, horror cl- um, collection. Right, and it's also. not a it's not Amigo, it's not cloth. It is in the actual seven inch ultimate scale. So you guys can see there's accessories that will come with it: the hand, the little kazoo, the four faces, oh, four and the balloons. Right. What's that? And then you know he comes with the hands, and then he comes with the fucking um, the spinner. That's what yeah. awesome. I wonder if the spinner's gonna be able to move and make a little noise. I right. Bet you. No. <laughs> and I was, I, you know, and I got to admit, I was kind of excited that they were doing this figure. Yeah. But I will be honest: the second that I saw this, oh, I was yeah, like, "Do I over. even? Do I even need this now?" Exactly, dude. That, and then he comes with more balloons, bro. I know you guys know. are talking about the balloon army and shit. Yeah. I know. So here is some final prototype pictures. I believe the one they even had at Toy Fair was like big. I want to say it was like the pictures that I even saw of them take. It was like almost a, it was bigger than their Pennywise that they had made. It's so, still a pretty sick figure. You can oh, take some yeah. dope ass shots. Oh, of that, it's man. not going to be that tall, but I mean their prototype was just that big. I'm sure. It'll I'm be, just saying in general, he's a creepy looking figure. It, it is, is. It is. And I and I guess it depends on when they're actually going to release because I'm I'm guessing this one will come out first, and then this yep. one will come out later. So that's. I'll be tempted because that one's out and the other one's not out, probably. So yeah. get that itch, man. I know. Sometimes you got to scratch it, you know. <laughs> so I'm definitely super hyped. Let's on. talk more about scratching itches. Let's talk about scratching. <laughs> so one thing I know that me and the entire crew are super fucking dope, star Ooh. excited about because we don't know too much. Um, we did find out that on one six kit. If you go onto their website, as you guys can see, you can hold for forty dollars, but the set, this is the deluxe version, will cost you a hundred and fucking eighty dollars, which comes yeah. with the two figures, Roz and the Bale, and then this extra special, I guess, suit, you know, right here. So here's an image of that, which looks fucking amazing. Who wouldn't want to army build that shit right there? Yeah. That's what they should have done. If it was a two pack, almost where you got Roz and then yeah. like just that this. one, yeah. yeah. But then yeah. both of them could wear that mask, but only one of them like maybe had like not a face. It could even just no. be like you know why they're giving you this one by itself because they're going to charge you the exact same price for that one by itself. As I'm saying, that as I'm saying. <laughs> So we see the non-deluxe yeah. version is still a hundred and fifty-one dollars. But going back to Toy Arc here, you guys can see that not only do they have those, they also have a Batman, they have a Bane, and we've seen the, the Green Arrow and the Flash before. But here are some closer images. This Batman, I, I think this looks fucking stellar, super good. This kind of looks bulky. That jacket, I don't think they nailed it. That looks like his hands look weird. Hands look real. It looks like he looks like he looks like Ricky. He looks like Ricky Bobby. He's like I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Just put him down, Ricky. So I feel like he's doing like a like a whole come at me, bro pose. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So here's some closer shots of this Batman. So obviously it's gonna be cloth with some plastic over it. Uh, this thing looks fucking great. So like we carbon. see Star Ace. I unfortunately don't have a lot of information about this. I'm not sure if this is a combination of both of the studios. I'm really not even sure what scale these are in, but I'm hoping that these are 112. So we're seeing Harry Potter. This is a Hermione. We have a Voldemort. And behind there is Harry Potter with an owl. Again, I unfortunately don't have any information about these, but I can only imagine that these are 112. They had mentioned that this one looks a little dollish, but that's very, just very it's Barbie. Like, like. That's it's a woman. <laughs> it's a woman. They all kind of look Barbie like, though. If you look at the Harry Potter, even he kind of looks Absolutely. like a Barbie. Absolutely. <laughs> so, oh. one thing I know everybody is super excited about uh. is that Wolverine. There is also this Infinity Gauntlet hand, I guess you can flick people off with. So, everybody's excited that you can use it. Dave, is that you modeling? Yes. yes, it is actually. <laughs> yes, Dave. Dave yeah. helped him out with the program. He was like, "No problem. <laughs> I'll totally, I'll weird. totally put your gauntlet on." 
But one it does thing, look a little like that stage. But the rumors <laughs> are all true, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting a Logan, an updated of the old Toy Biz with the bike. It doesn't look like he gets any flames or any crazy added things onto it. It looks like a pretty clean bike. He's got the jeans. He's got the tank top on. And it looks like he has an expression on his face. So who thinks that this is going to be one of the hottest Marvel Legends of the entire year? Oh, yeah. It's going to get scalped like friggin' crazy. Yup. Yup. <laughs> I, I might even buy this shit. I don't know. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of Marvel Legends that I'm going to be on top of this year, man. There's, there's some good releases coming. Or on out. the bottom of. We'll see. Yeah. So we have a Shadowlands, obviously, you know, so... Dude, look, they have so much Photoshop in here, you can't even see the fucking mm -hmm. feet. Like, what are you yeah. guys doing? Like, Do we have even, an ankle pivot? What no, do we like, have there? Yeah. Even, look at this shit, too. They even got the mind thing going. Like, that. you don't want that <laughs> accessory? <laughs> like, Sonar. Uh, Vibrating. It's straight yeah, up they're... distracting is what it is. Butchering these... So this is a Shadowlands, completely way too photoshopped. We're not even seeing the feet here, people. What is going on? Okay. I am not sure. I don't even know if Elektra has fucking ankle pivots, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. But we are saving getting, that as a surprise. They got to they gotta save something. Right. We are getting an updated comic Elektra. Still no double arms. Looks like you're still going to have to do the, the Luke swap. Um, I don't know if this was confirmed or not for this Doc Ock being articulated uh, tendrils, but it does it's not. Look, it's not. It's so not, they're solid. Is it? They're oh. solid, but they're interchangeable. You can take them off and move them around. Oh my yeah. God! Has yeah. you sons of bitches? <laughs> then we see suck, yeah. a cloak, cloak and, and dagger, dagger, but look, it's the same like moonstone. <laughs> it's the same head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you start Gotta love Marvel the, Legends for recycling. You, man. It's like you start stacking some of these girls in a photo together, and you're like, "Yo, bitch, is the same." Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Looks like she's got some like jizz coming off of her hands with some cubes on it too. So I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know. They're getting wacky with these effects. I understand what they're trying to do, but this is these are turning them into kids' toys, in my opinion. Yeah, it's shit like that that it's like that's not an adult collect. This even this, as fuck, yeah. even this, you can't <clears throat> see his feet. Who is fucking that's putting the all the smoke they, in? They here? really just don't want us to see the feet. I guess <laughs> this is more professional right here, at least. So we're seeing another single card. This is what they're doing now. It's like you remember when this was a build a figure? No, no, no. We're just gonna <laughs> slap it into one box now. You're welcome, America. Christ sakes. So we are seeing this is the Walgreens is exclusive Silver Surfer. Also supposed to come with a thing, but maybe that's in a different category of photos. But we will be getting a Walgreens thing. Um, also, uh, there it is. Here is the thing, Walgreens exclusive. We saw this, but we are getting a Cassidy... Um, a Cletus Cassidy head to go with it, head, yeah, as you yeah. see. It. And then look at that! Why is he looking down? <laughs> like what the fuck? We can't even There's see like, his face. He's like, "Here's my head. It's red." But at least, at least we know we know we're getting like a cool, like psychotic expression head. Right. So we yeah. get venom, the she venom or whatever. And then they they start doing a spider there we thing go. too. Spider ham. Oh my god, that is And it's fucking... cool because this thing is actually coming with like a symbiote head. Is it too? Yeah, like like a venom looking head and like apparently the uh, the head is interchangeable for like these these uh, Marvel Legends. How many right of here. you guys have seen this head in the display cabinets? Right. <laughs> the eyebrows on this thing are fucking ridiculous and this head yeah. looks terrible in my opinion. It's so cartoony. Yeah. I am not when... impressed. So another Magneto, like that's what we need. The saber tooth looks fucking dope stacks, though. I gotta say, it's it's, yeah. the, it's this this saber tooth is like a, a mesh between like the '90s one from the mm -hmm. Toy Biz, the Series Five, yeah. and like it's like an updated version of that. And then it gives us the the Puck series Marvel yeah. Legends as well. Yeah, and he looks uh, with... like David from the Lost Boys. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's Give that good. dude a saxophone. Oh, <laughs> I still believe. <laughs> right. <laughs> so 
So I believe that people were comparing this new version and the old version as just one slightly bluer than the gray, and then obviously the accessories are different. But this is looks like a whole new one, though. So this oh, yeah. has like the half mask going on it, and it looks like some deluxe packaging. This is crazy, though. We're finally getting a fucking Bishop figure. Yeah. So this is also May Shelf as well. Go ahead, Dave. No, what you guys were saying with the whole uh, the whole '90s thing, what they're doing with the X Men, I feel like that's uh, that's totally what they're what they're trying to hit with all these new Marvel legends well, that are coming out. Finally, getting it because I mean that's what everybody wants. We all want all the characters. I mean, we, we want fucking you know all the you know people from the classic cartoon show. We want more for fuck's sakes, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, obviously, they got upset that Figma, you know, was getting crazy with the cheese whiz. Now, look at this. It looks like he's got slippers, but no, I can barely see him because of the fucking smoke, Hasbro. Can't anyway. see them. I don't know what and the fuck they're on his hearts, feet. But, yeah, they look like... like horrible yeah. articulation, too. Right. So... <laughs> if you could see through that, through that smoke. smoke... I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the smoke people. I'm like an old man over here. I'm verklempt. But this is basically the version that we had gotten from Figma recently, but Marvel Legends was like, nah, I'm doing that shit too. I don't even know. Is it from a comic book or anything? Or is it just like artist-driven? I don't know. I thought it was just like... I'm pretty sure it's just artist-driven. Yeah, I, I thought it was... Not. Yeah, I thought it was just like Figma just trying to be cute. Um, this See, is well, like a go. Forge. Nice X -Men. This is like a Forge yeah. X Men. So we are getting an undouble jointed Lady Deadpool from the Legends. So we don't have to use the Diamond Select to compare. This though, Omega Red. I still have the Toy Biz. I still like the Toy Biz. I don't know if it's going to be better than the Toy Biz. We'll the see. The arm and shit. <laughs> Yeah, I feel the, like it'll be pretty good. The original was fucking articulated though, so. Shit was mad hype. We are getting That's a, a good Sauron, though. This will probably be the bath. Yeah, Sauron bath. This is go. fucking super crazy. Everybody wants this. That's going to be a That'll crazy... Be that's going to be a super crazy wave. Yeah, the paint looks really, really good on that, by the way, too. Yeah, so if it, if it turns out like that, it's going to be one of the greatest baths to ever come. Plus, all those other figures are solid, too. So that could be a... Crazy, stupid, fucking yeah, hype wave. There we go. This is so hype. Are, this is like the most hype thing. <laughs> right. This is gonna be. So we yeah, are getting good. the two pack right here from the movies. So we are getting the Michael B. Jordan head and fucking dude from Lord of the Rings. Um, dude from super Lord. awesome. I showed people on my stories earlier how easy it is to basically make the other outfit from Killmonger using the. Um, Deadshot from SH Figuarts, oh, yeah. which is very cheap right now as well, and doing some painting on it. So I'm probably getting this two pack for sure because I definitely want a Michael B. Jordan head. All about go. that shit. This to me was super, super fucking exciting. Oh, I, man. for 25 fucking dollars, you can go on Entertainment Earth right now and pre order this 10th anniversary edition. Um, the movie is almost fucking shit. 2004. It's getting up there. Um, yeah. This is the 10th anniversary they're going to be doing. It's only available on Entertainment Earth right now. So go ahead and you can grab that. This is the Ronin from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. This is a weird fucking shit going on here with this Captain America. And I'm buying it. Yeah, but the joints, <laughs> the joints on this are so yeah, weird, I'm though. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of that whole pelvis area there, but uh, otherwise that fucking crossbones figure is pretty sick. <laughs> right, right. So, I don't know, another Hulkbuster looks like two and a Hulk, but honestly, I'm more excited about that. I have to say this is interesting, but it is going to Jeez. be in a three-pack I want the pepper pots. I just That's want. It, though. I just want the pepper pots. So if anybody That's it. wants, what? The, you don't the, want the Ben Kingsley or the Guy Fieri fucking Iron Man? Okay. No, <laughs> the, ben, yeah. the Ben Kingsley head is all I'd want. <laughs> but he's all like Durka. He's like the Durka version. <laughs> <laughs> he's all straight like. I don't know. Doom, you could shave his beard. <laughs> I could. I could. I mean. 
But I, ideally, I want this, and I believe it's like a seventy fucking dollar pack. So <laughs> shit ain't cheap. I know. So hopefully, if somebody wants to bootleg it or just fucking give me my shit, that'd be fucking super great. Give you your shit. Just give Is me my. Yours? It's my shit. Just give me my shit. Uh, we are seeing that they are going to be doing a little bit of stuff for, I guess, the new Ant-Man movie. This will be the Ant-Man and the Wasp. I believe this will be three and three quarter, which if you're an Ant-Man, you can use any scale. Look, they're finally doing the mask right after the second movie. Good job, Hasbro. Make sure we don't That's have to right. customize it like I had to do all those years ago and cut my wrist open. Anyway... There was a wasp. I'm wondering if that's dark. Then it did. It was a dark day. (laughs) Because what you had to do is you had to chop like a piece off of the bottom of the mask and like fold it up and glue it. It was okay. It was ghetto. I'll show you one day. It looks dark. It it was dark. (laughs) So we're gonna be getting some kids figures here as well from the line. They didn't want to paint her. She was so colorful before, but now she's just blue. I'm sure we'll come across <laughs> it here in a minute, but there's a really cool Paul Rudd Marvel Legends that they're going to be giving us, like a Paul a Paul Rudd head. That's all like uh, expressionized Legends? and stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. it's going to be wicked. I did not see that. Yeah, you'll see. He's making like a really cool smirk face. You'll see. He's yeah. making super smirk. I'm excited. So this, oh, this is hype. I gotta have. <laughs> yes. I gotta have this. <laughs> I might buy a, I might buy a couple of this because my ass needs 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 this head so bad and it does look pretty good too not bad it doesn't look bad i would prefer it in a seven inch scale but i'll take it i'll take my woody any way they want to slap it to say, me that's your that's your fancy woody right there i'll, that, I'll take that fan he, he needs he needs weed though that's all i gotta say get those guns away from him <laughs> get him a bowl uh, he looks so too got, disgruntled to be enjoying some weed, though. Right. <laughs> so we got a Leia from scene-specific bits. We also have the Youngenstein fucking Han. This thing looks stupid. <laughs> it's yeah, like so yeah. stupid. <laughs> I have no idea, and you have no idea who some of these characters are, so don't hate on me for not knowing anything that's going on with this Star Wars-ness bit. Well, that's, that's what it comes down to, right? I mean, so I'm sure some of these, like, uber fans are going to be like, oh, that fucking figure's dope as fuck. Now, this so. is fucking hype as shit, though. <laughs> yeah. Gamorrean Guard coming out. That looks fucking it's super dumb. hype. You know this what? Dumb. Did you guys uh, uh, get the, the news about them, about Hasbro, like, mm. running this crowdfunding thing for the Jabba mm. Sail Barge? Oh, oh I do know they that. they said they weren't gonna charge people, and like IG Toy Store got charged like five hundred bucks, like straight up. Oh, for even signing up for the crowdfunding? Yes, yes, they just took the money. They were like, "We won't take your money right away." And he claims that they were just like, "Boom, five hundred bucks, it's mine." Oh shit! <laughs> right, and it's huge. It's a fucking massively huge fucking barge. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But it is only for the three and three quarter scale, though, right? Yeah, just for the classic size. But it's still like, what they say, like seven feet or like five feet or whatever. So yeah. this childish Gambino, though, all day. I got to get this thing, too. <laughs> right. I got to make my custom fucking Gambini. And I don't know who this kid is, so I have no interest. But I want that Woody Harrelson all fucking day. Yeah. All day, I want that shit. How about that? What's that? How about that Tickle Me Chewy? <laughs> tickle Me Chewy. Is that what it is? That's Hee-hee. exactly what it is. <laughs> So here are some more of the loyal subjects figures. Getting a crazy bunch. Looks like everybody's doing fucking Ghostbusters. Only some people. Are, uh, this one at least has a cigarette out of his mouth. Holy shit. Yeah. This oh, company's not oh, shit. working with Disney. Holy shit. So they got some yeah. It's as we saw as well. These horror ones are fucking hype. I might have to pick up a couple of those. Yeah, for sure. Some He-Man. So definitely some cool stuff coming out. Some cool stuff from them, guys. I don't think I'm going to go to that. We're going to go to the super hot topic of why everybody's pissed off because they changed the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles up all over again. And (laughs) they started switching around the personalities, too. So everybody's super pissed off right now because, like, you know, the same people that you know they were are not who they are now. So deal with it. 
Um, yeah. You guys hear about that? So like Raph is not yeah. like Raph and like Leo and then it's like everything's PC, I believe, in this they too. They recreated the characters. Right. And I you know, I I I did enjoy the the two thousand what was it like ten or two thousand twelve run or whatever. I did enjoy that. Um, but you know, it's okay. I don't have to like every single version of the fucking turtles. I don't need to like this. I'm okay. I would, but I don't uh, think, I don't think that anybody is going to like this. I guess they'll, well then they'll find out. Maybe this will be the fucking end of the turtles. Um, but it looks like they got another play set. This one looks not nearly as cool as the last one they did. A lot more cardboard instead of like play set, which is yeah. Kind of stupid, but I mean, they're gonna find out the hard way. Look at you know? how big it is, though. It's super big. I mean, it, the place that'll still be useful, but yeah, those figures are are shite. Womp, womp, <laughs> womp, 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 womp. Yeah. Do we want to look at this three and three quarter fucking? No, we don't need that shit. We ain't gonna. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't even worry about it. Nobody's let's get to, uh, Let's get to the let's get to the main event, huh? The <laughs> main event. <laughs> Uh, we get to all of our money. Classic. Yeah, we haven't even gotten to all the shit that's taken all our money, though. Okay, so here's the barge, though. Here's your $500 just right out of your pocket. So if you want to create all the barge fucking the scenes or whatever, go fucking give them all your money. Sounds great, right? <laughs> what an evil and fucking keel. So looks like he just has, like, really categorized versions. Now this, though, fucking... I gotta get her too, cause I oh, can just yeah. do Twin Peaks with her. Twin Peaks. <laughs> Twin Peaks. <laughs> so super cool. I'm glad. I love it when they give us celebrity heads. To be honest, like anytime that they're like, "Here's a celebrity head," I'm like, "Fuck, I need it." Yeah, like, honestly, yeah, that's what I'm hyped about this year. Like the Martin Freeman head, yep. the Michael B. Jordan head. Oh yeah, and Laura Dern. Fucking. Right there, baby. I need that. Right there. <laughs> I need it in my life. So many things I could do with that. Especially if somebody it's cast all about it. The Woody. Yeah, especially if I can cast it and even do like versions where I can shave off fucking his beard and all that shit too. It'd be fucking great. All right. So another fucking apocalypse. Yay. Get blue blue pock. Is this one out yet? I think this might be out, actually. Yeah, yeah this Wolverine is yeah. out. It's out. This Sabretooth is not out. This, I still want this, actually. Yeah, dude. I do want that figure. I took a picture of that Wolverine at, uh, at my local comic book shop uh, two weeks ago. Nice. Yeah. Looking stellar. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So here I got the... a couple DMs. Apparently, he has a really rad figure. So anybody who's into that, uh, to the so biggest here's shit. The, the Black Knight. I guess he's got three fucking heads. So you can get like super crazy in case you want to be all snooty and be like, I want the scene specific one. So you get three heads on that motherfucker. Do what you want to do. Complain about what you want to complain about. But that's all you get. In. Three and times then, the head. Uh, the cable, someone pulled the eyepiece out and it just looks like he's, it's like a hole underneath where his eye is. Obviously, we saw that coming. But uh, yeah, we've seen all these figures. Yes. I can't believe they're going to go out. They're not even going to give us Articulate on Doc Ock. Like, what happened? Did wires become suddenly all expensive? Right. I mean, wires and feet. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking wires, man. Okay, there's your Ant Man coming up over here. I was, I was getting worried. Uh, Deadpool toys. So yeah, these are the same ones. So if you guys want to see actual images, so this is, I guess, the painted version. So see, it doesn't look as good. <laughs> it already nope. doesn't look as good as the photos that we saw. And then yeah. we're gonna eventually get here to. Oh, so she comes with Headpool. Oh, she looks glossy though. Holy shit. Yeah. So does the was bishop. First thought, Actually, yeah. yeah the bishop. That was the first thing I thought when I first saw the Freaking bishop figure. Use like enamels to paint these things. I was gonna oh. say, are we gonna need like, uh, are we gonna need like a remover to like remove like the top layer out of these things? I hope not. Yeah. Uh. Oh yeah. See, so he does have fucking slippies on. I don't know if those were removable too. That would be super high. But what's with this? He's got like one black sock and then. No sock. They want to paint it white. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Maybe he's still a prototype. I don't know. Oh man, that X one man. Everybody's gonna. Everybody wants that shit. Well, that'll be big. 
That will be very, very big. Uh, so some taco shit. Is this a 12-incher here? Oh, yeah. So we got a crazy 12-inch version of Deadpool. Looks like you get two heads on this one, a bunch of hands, and, of course, a burrito. <laughs> Marvel Venom figures. Now, you guys think they're going to do movie Venom figures at all? Fuck no. Man, oh, not actually. No. Fuck no, he says. Go symbiote head. Oh yeah, there's that symbiote. It, that, there's no way that's gonna be a single carded figure. That's gotta be like the bath. That is definitely that? I bet you that's what the bath is. What's that? The the pig head? Yeah. No, the whole figure. They're not they're not gonna give us that like single carded figure. Oh no, no, yeah. I actually the he's, details he's, didn't even say there. No, he's gonna be the bath, I guarantee it. They're going to pull that. Look at those fucking brows. Oh, yeah. Holy Martin Scorsese, man. <laughs> fucking shit, dude. Look at Making that. a Martin Scorsese figure. And so why, is that, why is the head bigger than his, like, the rest so of his body? So much bigger. Look at that shit. He, it's like a diamond select head on his ass. Look at the Venom head. And the like Venom himself. head looks all right, but the other one is like, I don't know. At least we get the Cletus Cassidy there. He just looks like a ginger. Well, I mean, I guess that's yeah. what he was, but... I was going to say. <laughs> Still spade to so spade. they pretty much nailed it. Yeah, they, they nailed it. You're right. Um, so, oh, no shit. We are getting a, a seven inch scale yellow jacket. I did not know out. that. I haven't seen you. This is one of my favorite MCU movies, so it would be very oh, tempting. Here's your, uh, here's your expression. Oh, Paul is that Redhead what it, that comes in there? Okay, well, then I'm getting that. He's got a number on his forehead? Oh. They didn't do Check that it out. There's prison? different versions. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a number on his fucking forehead. I don't want that if that's the case. <laughs> that's not the one. That's not the one I'm talking about, though. Well, I still want that head too. I have the one from Diamond Select. That one's super kill too. But yeah. I definitely want this pepper pot so I can have a yoga chick. <laughs> she just looks like a yoga yoga chick. You don't have oh, a yoga chick. I could make one, but like as you is, go. you know. <laughs> this looks fucking great too. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, that's a, that's a soul that. Fuck, man! Like, this is like, see, more or less. I like the movie. Like, I want more of the movie characters because we got less of this type of shit. But oh my god, you can turn him like into a soldier too. Look at that. Yeah, that's hype. Wow. Yeah, that's perfect army build. Holy shit, that's big right there. And these boxes are great too. They're dope, yeah. I love this fucking packaging. I will be picking up some of those, so maybe we'll find your stuff in here for the Ant Man and the Oh, he's got Smirky. He's super yeah. smirking. <laughs> here we are. Oh man, I need that in my life so bad. No, <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, that excites me. That excites me in ways that only fetishes can. I knew you guys would like that. Oh, you get her too. Oh, damn it. I got to buy this line. Fuck yep. me. Yep. I definitely got to get these yeah. figures. I might not do any photos, but doesn't mean I don't have to get them. Don't judge me. Oh, you'll do I was going to say, oh, everyone talks shit. Everyone <laughs> talks shit about the Marvel Legends, man, but they put out some decent Look shit. Look at that fucking face. Fucking <laughs> face, <laughs> <laughs> This is the new, this is the meme head for 2018. Every photo is going to be like, oh, what does he think about this? What does Rudd feel about this? <laughs> so this is something we were talking about before the podcast airs. These are a company called, uh, I lost my train of thought. They are Dynamic 8 Heroes or 8 Action. I don't know how they want to call it. They want you to eight know that shit. they're a number 8, eight though. So these are highly detailed, highly articulated figures that are larger. So if you want bigger shit, this is where you're going to get your big shit from. So we have some movie figures here from Justice League. I believe the we'll see the Superman here. Um, Steppenwolf too. So man, Steppenwolf would go in with any of your lines too because it's yeah. a big fucking figure. Um, look at that super pose right there, dude. Yes, get God. it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Only thing he's missing is a hip hop. Get it, girl. He's almost, yeah. Is he already almost. have does he already have like paint rub going on too? 
Yep. Yeah. Gone. He's already chipping. So yeah, right on the shoulder. This looks super fucking jizzy eyes right here. Nothing, nothing better than a fucking hot it's red jizzy hot. eyes. I so if you guys are looking for bigger versions, I don't know the price point, obviously that, but could be cool, could be shitty. I don't know. Square Enix, they had some weird Cyclops. We don't necessarily need to get into that. Kota Bikita, cool statues. You guys can look at that shit on your own time. DC Collectibles action figures. Now, I saw that these were available, but they're in these stupid two-packs. Like, you got to get fucking him and him and then, like... I don't know who the fuck I who the fuck is this guy? I didn't read the new comics. I just know the old shit. I don't give a fuck about what's going on now and shit. But these are cool though. These are actually pretty fucking dope. So there's a Harley. Right, and we got a sailor joker here, so if you're maybe a homosexual, you can gravitate more towards this because he's a sailor. I went there. I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but at the same time, deal with it. We have a classic shot of uh, Harley Quinn dipping the joker. It's awesome. So we're seeing that we still haven't released these deluxe packs here for the animated series. They still have the joker and the Harley. I have the Batman, super, super fun, lots of fucking possibilities with these. So we see some displays. Obviously, these are some props that they've made and sorts using the accessories that you would get from those packs. So you can tie up Batman and put a fucking little rubber ducky around him. Uh, This is what we were talking about a second ago is there's Watchmen figures, but it's from the Doomsday Clock, I guess, which I didn't read that so you like i believe the way it's broken down is you can get these two in a pack these two in a pack and i think these two are in a pack and i just want him or him and him. Yeah. yeah i just want those i don't know where the fuck those other dudes are the ozymandias <laughs> i'm not too fond of and i have the other one I mean, it's cool. They have double joints on these. The Rorschach looks pretty cool. The Comedian looks okay. No. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, no. they are very stylized yeah. versions. What are you guys trying to say, villain? I said, no, nah, Dave just can't do so quick. He's like, no. <laughs> like, no. no. I didn't, I didn't no. like that, that Comedian. <laughs> it's, not, that one it's, not, it's not the greatest, so... No, yeah. I'll be okay not getting it. So we have some Universal <laughs> Monsters here from the reaction line. Three oh, and three quarters. Oh, nice. These packaging oh. look fucking amazing. They're also doing a bunch of props. They still actually haven't released those Hellboy figures yet either. So they're still showing us those. I will be tempted to get those for sure because I love me some Hellboy. Uh, those yeah. worsts actually haven't all come out yet either. They take forever at the Super 7 lot because they worry more about the package art than they do anything else. Like The figures don't take shit, but they want to make sure. Now, this was something I was kind of excited about as well is the Pee Wee line. And the cherry that they showed was like a super cherry. And finally, look, we can get a Phil Hartman figure, obviously. But the, <laughs> the chair was like a nice like chair. So I was like, fuck yeah, I need a cherry. Also, some Misfits. Super fucking cool. Toxie's been out. I got mine signed. Um, Is this who I think it is? Oh, yeah. This is King Diamond. Holy shit. Fucking Randy from NECA Toys is buying the shit out of this. This, if you guys remember when we had interviewed him before, he had basically said this was like his dream figure. Somebody to make fucking King Diamond who is a singer of an old fucking, like, 80s band. But they're making it over at Super 7, so Randy's fucking super go. excited. So definitely check them super out. Stable. We know that all you guys care about is us talking about the Mezco, but we're going to fucking just keep hitting shit before Mezco and start talking about other things. I think, oh, did I miss the horror? Yeah, because Super 7, Muscle and More... E- no, that's not where the horror is either. So we know that... Oh, that is Funko. That's why. Super Funko. And it's not these ones. Yeah, the world of- sorry, we don't care about Funkos, guys. We're sorry. We appreciate, you know, what do you want to understand? <laughs> but these are actually kind of cool, if you guys can see here. 
what they've done is tried to give you a horror character meets the old articulation of the He-Mans. So we see Leatherface here. We see Jason and Freddy. I believe there's a yeah, there's a Hellraiser as well. So it looks like they get some swap out accessories. Very yeah, very interesting. Kind of Michael Myers. Yeah. Michael. They stylized them and they made them look all like prehistoric almost. Like I know. Savage World. There you go. Perfect. So there's another one too. This yeah, Savage World. It's called as well. So very very exciting. Very interesting niche as shit. So we hit the Mezco yeah. horror. Oh, so this is still none of the shit that we, you want us to talk about. So we're just going to, we're going to glaze well, over that. Like I know, I know <laughs> Scott, I know Scott would be totally interested in that. He might be, he might be, but I think he's more interested on this 18 fucking inch King Kong by Mezco. No, there's no faux or fucking flocked hair on him. He's all plastic, but this thing looks fucking, Oh, this one is a 7-inch. I swear seven they inch. said they were doing... Okay, this is the one. They are doing an 18-inch or maybe it's only 12 inches. But these are super fucking awesome. Yeah, this yeah. one looks bigger. 18-inch figure. Yeah. That's yeah. the one to get to. No, no idea what the price point is on these or how these will be released. But holy shit, those look fucking awesome. One twelve horror. Here we go. And I like how John fucking Wick heads off the horror. Oh, it says horror more. <laughs> but to everybody's surprise, we are getting a one twelve John Lee Wick figure. I thought I saw two different head sculpts, but there was a magazine that was out that showed it's coming with just one head, incorrect guns. Um, and like a, <laughs> they were incorrect guns. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like a blast effect similar to what you got from Punisher. The Punisher, yeah. Exactly. Is everyone here wanting this figure in real form or bootleg form? I get it in bootleg. Like every variant: turtleneck yeah. John Wick, black suit John Wick, white suit John Wick, or sorry, white shirt, <laughs> John, white suit John Wick, white shirt John Wick, white shirt John Wick. Bloody John Wick. Bloody John Wick. John Wick dog. So I think that they will see that this figure is going to sell out through the roof and they can do whatever they want with John Wick because people will probably buy it. Pretty much. Which is crazy. Um, this, I mean, I like yeah, it. It looks rushed. This, it needs, looks rushed this needs some help. I think yeah, this, I is, help. this is the one figure that's going to need dye. You're going to have to dye this. Like You're going to literally have to put him in like black dye. And maybe they rushed it. Maybe they just tried to get something out there. But he does. This one looks very dull. Very yeah, dull. I don't like the base of his shirt. Right. So if I did, you know, like I said, get this. This is going to need some die game going on. We didn't see underneath the mask. So I'm only guessing that they have no idea what they're doing with this so far. So seeing some of the Michael, we do see that there was also another Mezco they had of this figure. It was like an 18 inch as well. I think it was just a statue. But we're never going to get any of these figures. We're just going to keep seeing them year after year at Comic Cons. We're never going to see. We're never going to see these Ghostbusters figures out. Sorry. You guys realize how <laughs> no. long it's been, though? Like, these figures in particular. Like, this is the third Toy Fair that we've seen these at. Like, wow. in a row. And I get it. It's tough, you know? But some of these guys are just going to have to say, like, we aren't going to do these because other <laughs> things are getting rushed out, you know? And then now... Yeah, stop, stop teasing us with that shit. And now they're just <laughs> dropping bombs, you know? They're fucking giving us all of these Netflix... Give me a break. <laughs> Dave, is this... Are you powerless? I don't even know what to say about this, guys. <laughs> it, looks, it looks amazing, man. Are you mad? Are you mad at this, basically? No, I'm not mad. I'll just... I'll buy, like, 17 of them, that's all. <laughs> just buy 17? <laughs> Where is guns? Where are his guns? Why he would gets... you have a Punisher figure not posed with guns? He, yeah, no, but he no, comes they... with no guns. He still... They want to show us. <laughs> <80 bucks. laughs> 
they want to show us the badass burnt doll face because that looks wicked. Right. Yeah. So we do see that they're also, which I never would have thought they would try to do this. So it's yeah. like, can you peel that off of him too? And there's something underneath yep. there. I yep. have no it's idea. Like a, it's Is like it? a latex. It's like a latex. Yeah. And then the oh, same oh, thing with the bottom of the sleeves there. It's like a latex. Nice. It gets tight. Nice. Yeah. So we got the first tactical suit. We have their universe blade. This is like a cross combo of comic universe and movie universe blade to be there. What's that? Yeah, it looks like I got a zipper to actually work. Like the zipper works. It does. No, it looks it like does. he's got a zipper. You can zip it up, bro. Zip it up. You mind if I, I zip this up? I have to say I'm, <laughs> I am kind of tempted of this figure. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want it to be one of those things that like – it ends up being like super amazing, and then I slept on it. So, but it, it could be yeah, not yeah. amazing, and I didn't sleep on I'm it. Cop, cop, cop. Y'all bought this cable? That cable's you know pretty sweet. He kind of looks cross though. Yeah, I figured it out. What was bugging me is his eyes. He needs that um the uh, the glint like that yeah. Marvel Legends figure has. Right. That's what yeah. this needs. Right, which would be easy to make. So. Put some jizzy eye on him. But it's cool that you can have the option, so maybe he comes with it, too. Maybe they'll figure out something yeah. and have him have another head. I like, or... I like that they made his suit look more comic, too. I like, like, that, they, looks... I like that it looks like he could move, too. Like, yeah, exactly. There isn't yeah, yeah. so much shit he's on not him. Shit. Yeah, it yeah. Looks like he, he, got it, he got protection, but he's not restricted. He got protection, move. yeah, for sure. Now, I don't know if he's going to have like a baby or anything like that. That would be super cool. So very little details on this cable figure. This is owning the internet right now. Everybody wants this, yeah. especially when they saw that he comes with like various heads with explosions and all that, too. The blasters and he stuff like that. The funny those... part is, is that the blasters that are coming out are pretty much the exact same ones that, uh, oh, can, what the hell is that guy's beans. name? Yeah, yeah, can of beans, yeah, exactly, that, like he put, beans. that he puts out. It's almost so, like they copied what he does. They did, like they they're, did. They're, 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 they're watching. Right? The watches. Watches. So we do see that there is a also season two fully functional suited Daredevil from Mezco as well. And you guys were just going to go ahead and scroll through all the other photos in here. Mezco is just fucking absolutely crushing shit. We see that they do have a hella hype figure coming out. Hella hype uh, figure <laughs> coming out as well. We don't know if you get the two heads with that or what. The titties look like they need a little bit of work, though. But hopefully, maybe they'll add to the articulation. <laughs> I don't know. Those look like some po the some pasted on titties. The titties look like rubber pieces that they just put on the chest right there. Right. Yeah, by themselves. So here's that Iron Man. This is some awesome Photoshop work ready to happen right there. We saw uh -huh. that. Like I said, we talked about the Black Panther. Yada, yada, yada. Very, very cool. DC collectibles. I think this is the Batman, though. The Ascending Knight one looks okay. No, this is the Batman, like you said. That's yeah. gonna be the one that I'm that's the one that I've been waiting for. So this is the Ascending Knight. This one looks okay. I'm not I was never sold on the Ascending Knight, but this one right here looks that is fucking the best. crazy stacks. This is gonna be the Batman. What are you saying, bro? So he's looking pissed off as shit to him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, bad, dude. That was the main thing that sold me on him. Koji, you yeah. all about this? Oh, absolutely. And it comes with like two other heads, one with longer ears. That's right. right. And, uh, angry face, longer ears. Longer that's ear. right. And that's right. why I want it because of the fucking longer ears and the angry face. Yeah. We got John Stewart right. as well. This John Stewart oh, we got looks hype as fuck. Common. Yeah. Your common common. Head. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I should have just gave that to Yuzuki. So, super fucking hype. The Superman looks great. The Doomsday still looks great. We just need to see them out, but we get it. Oh, yeah, I also I forgot they also wanted to do this shit, too. Batman Beyond. Yeah, they also still want to do Batman Beyond. So, it's like, who knows what we're going to see, when we're going to see it. They want to do so many figures, and I get it. It's like, you guys want to just figure out where your niche is at, but... Yeah, this figure, I would never spend $2,000 on that figure. I don't even think I would spend $80 on that figure, so they better hurry up and bootleg it so I can pay like $20 for that figure. I don't yeah, even know so if I, I want it for $20. It. Yeah, I don't know if I was going to say. So those are the same things. Now, this was something very interesting as a lot of us follow NECA Dios. 
Uh, this year, they were able to throw this out there, but it wasn't just to display the turtles. It was to tell you guys that they are actually planning on selling this. I have no idea how, if it's going to break down, like what the price point would be on this. This is like pretty fucking big because it is for seven inch fucking scale. So if your Marvel Legends are going to look awesome in this. Yep. So I'm super sold. I'm very, very, this is one of the most exciting things for me because this is fucking fun. It's like, insane. Yeah, I it's don't perfect, know what they're going to charge. Hopefully it's not like 300 bucks, but if it's like 100 bucks, I could I could see 100 bucks for this. That's not bad. It's a, a big dial. Paint. Yeah. I like the paint, paint actually. I would still darken it up myself, but yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. weather it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But possibilities are endless with that. Super fucking cool. We got a bunch of Crash Bandicoots, I guess, now. So they're just opening the floodgates on all the Crash Bandicoots. And it's then, funny because the uh, the Crash Bandicoots, the eyebrows actually articulate. <laughs> nice. They used to on yeah. the old uh, Mezco South Park figures. Uh, so out of nowhere, we're getting more Team Fortress 2. I know this is another thing Nick is also excited about as well. Uh, we had been waiting and waiting and waiting for all these other figures. We only got like three from the whole line. I'm not sure... What happened, but apparently we're going to get some more. So talk about waiting. I mean, shit, that was like 2013, I want to say. They originally came out with those fucking figures. Holy fuck. Okay, NECA Alien versus Predator. We have seen all of this stuff, guys. I believe we've also seen all of this, but there's also a one four scale jason coming as well but we need yeah. to get into these migos i love the migos this freddy is weird i call this tongue pleasure freddy looks like he's just about to lick some crotch or whatever this one is super right this one is kind of exciting because it is a scene specific from a dinner scene in nightmare on elm street five where Greta is getting fed by Freddy while the family watches. So you get the plate, the doll, and the little food and the topper on it. So that is super fucking hype. This is also Just super. Fed. I know. Yeah. Look at the detail on this <laughs> fucking figure, though. This thing looks amazing. From John Carpenter's The Fog, The Captain, this fucking thing looks awesome. I never would have thought that they would do John Carpenter's The Fog. But this. I've been waiting yes, for sir. a company to make Reanimator for so fucking long. We get the fucking beat up fucking mangled cat. We get Har fucking Herbert West. I can't remember the other fucking doc's name, but these are exciting. I see that there was also an yeah. elf figure. I don't know if it's in this category of figures. I couldn't be more excited about getting that elf figure as well. I am, can't wait for that. Like the uh, the Will Ferrell one, you mean? Yeah, they're making yeah. the Amigo yeah. Will Ferrell. I'm so excited about that. That's right. Yeah, I did see that. All right, Dragon Ball Z. We've seen pretty much all of these figures. Very exciting. What are we at time-wise? Eh, an hour and 20 minutes. Not too bad. Uh, Kingdom Hearts more. Marvel. Let's see what they're doing for Marvel. Yeah, we've pretty much seen all of these as well. Those look super cool, though. We've they seen do. all the Pacific Rim. What? They know they do look rad. This, though, oh, my God. Final prototypes of mm. this Mike Tyson with three heads and, like, three fucking belts with cloth fabric. Yeah. This thing is fucking awesome. So, yes, that's an automatic cop. Right. Who ain't buying yeah. this shit? It's so that's weird. That's fucking they, like, unreal. They just put it next to these two dudes, too. They're like, here, we'll put yeah. Mike next to these two <laughs> big fucking dudes. But, yes, Mike Tyson, Storm Collectibles, that shit is getting straight up fucking bought. Yep. We've seen pretty much all of these, too. Oh, There's nothing... Sad. Nothing Probably. new, but these are super awesome. Yeah. The Goro looks absolutely fucking awesome. The Shang Tsung looks fucking everyone, awesome. Everyone is crushing it with these Mortal Kombat figures too, man. I know. I want to say there's um, there's another company coming out with like three and three quarter ones as well. 
like a new like or not a new company but like somebody just like recently got the license and like kind of do through i'm like damn everybody wants to do like street well, yeah, there's Mortal like Kombat all there's like the old school uh they, they re-released like a like a vintage version of them they're like three and three quarter inch um with like far less articulation kind of like the old hey, uh, he-man figures so they recently did that so apparently this is all you have to do at Toy Fair now is just like put little squares of, you know, <laughs> figures that are from the video games and just people are like, oh, no way, they're going to do that? Yeah. Yes, they're totally going to do that. Can't wait. You're going to have to wait though. So fucking start waiting already. Sentinel Marvel, still no word on that fucking Sentinel though, right? I didn't hear anybody else talk anything about that Sentinel that we talked about a while ago. No. Nothing. No. <clears throat> That's Fade it true. away. Fade they want away. us to forget about it. They do, and then they just want it to be like, and boom. So here's the SH Figure Arts Ken Masters figure with the red outfit, which we saw. And then Naruto was fucking stupid because everybody knows. Everybody bought the fucking cloth version of this on eBay for 20 fucking dollars. Nobody wants to buy a version with a plastic fucking cape, you idiots. That's retarded. Just go on eBay and buy it for twenty fucking dollars. Okay, last one or one of the last ones. More statues. We ain't got time for no statues. <laughs> what kind of podcast do you think this is? Okay, check these out though. There is. So there this is, is... A really cool Jeff Goldblum statue coming out. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah. There's like a whole there's like a whole um, Jurassic Park thing that's going to be coming out pretty soon. They're going to be giving us like a wicked T-Rex dial and everything. So we are getting Jason David fucking yeah. head sculpts oh. and then fucking – look at these though. They're like not – they're like kind of good but not really. <laughs> they're like 3D print gone wrong. Like you know what they did? They 3D printed it from the old VHSs. Like, they got like a bad VHS. The low yeah, they got that low res going on. So, if you guys Is are looking, track? if you guys are looking for unmasked versions of them, this is what you're gonna get. So, yeah. Does anybody know of anything else we missed? Did we not talk about anything at all? No. No, not really. Not anything that I didn't, or not anything that we didn't already cover. So, so that is our toy fair. I think, yeah, all the shit we posted, we posted that, we posted that. We talked about the. Oh, there was a there was a cool Mayfex. There was a cool Mayfex Kingsman. Oh yeah, there is. There is. Yeah, there is a Mayfex. I guess I didn't get any shots of that. This also as well. These are on pre-order right now, so you guys can check these out. These are Funko. These are the three packs. These will be just like your Stranger Things figures, three per pack, $20. So the whole thing is going to cost you 60 bucks. but you'll have these kid versions. So when the other NECA one comes out, you know, they should be, you know, pretty much kind of cool in scale with each other. Or if not, go a, fuck yourself. There's a really cool Iron, uh, Iron Giant figure that they're putting out, too. Oh yeah, uh, from yeah, from Thousand Toys, yeah. From Thousand like, Toys, yeah. Yeah, it's six inch, just over six inch, I believe. It comes with a couple different heads with like exchangeable teeth, even. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, man. You better, you better swap that teeth out, boy. Ain't nobody right? got anybody got no time for you to have fucking standard teeth on. <laughs> All right, well, we just wanted to give you guys a little tidbit in case you were having a rough work day, so. This is our information on the stuff and bits. Maybe it was a little boring. Who gives a fuck? We still gave it to you. Like it, comment, whatever you want. We appreciate it. I am Junior underscore Doom. I am going to send it off to my individual partners, and they can say whatever they want. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, guys. Appreciate you listening to the show. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to all these badass figures coming out. So keep your eyes open. Right on, right on. Koji, what you got to say? Koji's still there? No, he's gone. Oh. <laughs> he's like, once we got past the Mezco, I was like, fuck you yeah, guys. He was yeah. on just talking about that. That was it. That's awesome. All right. Um, what you got to say, Alex? Um, and Chris? Keep a lookout for the villains because we come for crowns and we've got a lot <laughs> Get of it. 
So stay tuned. We've got a lot coming. Yes. Um, no, yeah, it was uh, it was dope. You know, our first time, but uh, first of many. We can't wait for next Sunday. And like you said, man, if people didn't dig it, fuck them. We don't care. We gave it to you. This is the business. That's, That's right. It. All right. We'll see you guys Sunday for our awesome interview with Zach Oat from Diamond Select. Peace out. Have a good night, guys. Don't forget All to right, check out our weekly podcast, Action Toy Art, available on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, and YouTube. Make sure you rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Thinking about not commenting? Not sharing? Not subscribing? Well, that's your right. But it sure sounds selfish out loud, read by a distinguished voice, doesn't it? Why are you still here? Go check it out yourself.